And a lot of users voiced their concern and they said, no, we don't want our private messages. We don't want our private documents to be uploaded somewhere to a third party that will be doing who knows what with this data. So we realized the world needs a decentralized approach to AI. A world where AI belongs not to corporations or governments, but to the people. That's why we rolled up our sleeves and started to work on something big in the intersection of blockchain, AI, and social media. So we decided to build a decentralized network AI features for AI compute. The best part of it is completely private, completely confidential. So that users get to rely and enjoy their favorite AI features, such as documents summarization or message drafting, without having to give up their private data, their personal information. The world is moving towards a weird direction. For the last 20 years, we've been gradually losing our digital freedoms, but also in countries that traditionally were free and are now trying to ban your right to privacy, limit your freedom of speech, and this is very concerning. And building this kind of technologies is one of the ways we can fight that. It's not the only way, but it's one of them. And unfortunately, the problem is serious because before it gets easy, it will get worse. So we have to get serious about standing up for our freedoms and defending our rights.